Well, hello, hello, hello. And today we're actually going to be working on removing the rear bumper on a Porsche 911. But first, the cold start. As you can see, I'm coming along. So today I'm gonna to be working on removing all the wrap, which includes these bumperettes, the parking sensors. All right, so uh, the first thing that we're gonna do, um, you know, the piece, the bumper comes out, but you need to remove the tail lights in order to uh, get that out. There's a couple screws uh, here. There's one, two, and then once you remove that, um, this whole thing will swivel out and you can remove some screws back there. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. All right, um, you may want to disconnect the battery before starting all of this because there's a light here that stays on. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start by uh, using a T25 um, bit in order to uh, remove these screws. Now you have to remember, this is like the orientation of where it's at because you're going to have to line this afterwards and we'll go over that once we do the reinstall. So you don't need to take them all the way out. Once you loosen them, this whole thing can come out. So you want to pull out and then slowly be careful. There's a cable here, but this whole thing will just come out. All right, so to release this, you want to pull on this tab here and then pull this whole thing out. There you go. Put that in there, push up, and this whole thing comes out. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once, you, once you've removed the, uh, the headlights, there's gonna be a screw right there. It's a plastic screw. That's gonna be a T30. We're gonna continue to remove uh, all of these, which are also T30s. Now we're going to continue and go on to remove the uh, the liner uh, and separate the uh, the bumper from this fender here. So I'm going to put in my trusty mat here, so I don't get my nice sweatpants dirty. There you go. So we're going to let it go today. All right. So we're going to start uh, on the removal of the of this liner there's going to be a screw that's right up here it's kind of hard to get to you may have to depending on the tools you have you may have to remove the uh the tire um there's a screw there's several screws right underneath here you'll see them if you just cr uh, climb under there but we're going to start with this uh t25 let me see if i can get underneath there um which should be a screw there's a screw right here and that's what we have to remove so that's what we're gonna get at right now. So I'm gonna take this extension here, this can bend in there, and hopefully we can get this out without having to remove the tire. That's out. And you're, you're gonna be able to see the screw is a little different. It's got a little, like a, a built-in like washer in it uh, right at the end here. So make sure that you don't uh, mix this one up with the other screws that don't have uh, that little head all right, for that plastic screw, once you've unscrewed it, it doesn't come all the way out. It just comes up some way. And what you do is you push from behind, you push, and this, it's like a plastic tab, it comes out. So once you do that, just make sure you don't lose that. Um, usually I will um, put, it back, uh, put it back in that hole so I don't lose it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove that. Okay, so that's out. I'm gonna put this back in that hole there. So we're just gonna leave it here. So that's how this top part comes out. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on the bottom. All right, so now we're actually gonna go underneath the car and you're gonna to get to see the screws that are underneath. 
and there's the first one there. That's the main one that holds this whole bottom of this bumper cover on. And if you keep going, you'll see other screws. And that's what you know, all along, um, you're gonna see all along the bottom, you're gonna see all of those screws. And that's what we're gonna remove now. That looks like it's a T30. So that's gonna be a T30. And I have a T30 here. And we're going to keep going and we're going to keep removing all the screws all along. I usually just set them aside, um, you know, where they go all the way in the back so that way I don't kick them. But I know where they, you know, which one corresponds to what. All right, we're gonna continue and remove this plastic tab here on the corner, T35. Once that's out, you can pop it off from behind. All right, so you have to be really careful now because we've released pretty much all the screws that hold this bumper on there are have been removed now. So this bumper is just laying here. Um, so if you're not careful, if you start tugging at this away, um, you know, tugging away at this, then this whole thing will just fall off. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly go to the center of the bumper. We're going to remove it from there, and I think there's a cable. So be careful. There's a cable that is for the tag lights um, or the license plate lights. Uh, so just make sure that when you remove that, that you, you're careful with that cable. All right, so now we're carefully gonna remove uh, this bumper. We're gonna unclip this bracket here. So I'm gonna set this down. All right, so this is the only thing that you have to detach uh, other than that is this uh, clip uh, from here and that attaches up to up to there. All right, so this is what your sensor looks like <clears throat> What we're gonna do is <clears throat> pull this apart here and that sensor should pop right out So that's what the sensor looks like now when I wrap these what I what I end up doing is you remove this rubber and Then you just go ahead and just remove this wrap so I'm gonna get a heat gun I'm going to start removing all of those. Put that back in there. I'm going to do that for all of them. All right, so we're getting everything back. Make sure this little lip goes underneath here. That's what holds it in place. This goes above. And then for here, this has to go above this lip or liner. So up here, just make sure that this goes up above and then in, once it's in, this hole should align. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in there now just to hold that in place. That's the little nut that we removed earlier. So that's in there and now we're gonna screw that in. And remember, now we're gonna put all the screws back. There's one up here, two here, and then there's several in the middle, about four. So we're gonna continue with that. So we have a couple more screws.
Yep, and we're done. Oh, we gotta find, we gotta put that final screw up top, actually. This here will clip into that there. Um, but first of all, um, we're gonna end up, uh, wait, we're gonna clip this in first. And you hear clip, and you're good. So this, this here will slide in between this washer and the, and the back wall. There we go. And then these two screws come out here. We put that corner in first and then these screws have to go into here. Now this has to be regulated so that you, you know, the, the alignment, so that in and out you're going to have to find a spot so that it's aligned once you close the uh the hood so we're going to try to find the same marks here so we use the same thing as before but uh that's going to be it we're going to tighten these two screws and that's going to be the end of the bumper install all right so that's going to be it for the bumper removal on a porsche 911 uh hopefully it was helpful to you i know it's not as complicated as the front bumper but, uh, you know, definitely it helps to know, uh, you know, where everything that, where all the screws are at and how you take it apart. So I just want to thank you for watching. If it's something that helped you out, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, let me know how it went. And uh, if you have any other tips that maybe I didn't include in the video, then go ahead and just comment and um, just to share with the community. So I want to thank you all. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of uh, my, my next upcoming video. So I want to thank you all. And you all stay safe. Take care.